Today I wanted to share a cool new coin I got with you. This is um, a coin that was, it's called a, an obel, a French silver obel. And this was minted six centuries ago during the time and life of Joan of Arc. Now when I first got this coin, the only thing I knew about Joan of Arc was that she was burned at the stake. And I didn't really know why. I mean, I knew that she was burned at the stake as a heretic, but I didn't really know why or what that meant. So I read a book. I looked at a lot of websites and I watched two documentaries and I'm gonna tell you what I learned. So Joan of Arc um, was 13 years old when she began to hear voices and these voices she attributed to three saints and those three saints were Michael, Margaret and Catherine. And these voices were telling her that she was gonna basically be the savior of France. She um, was going to deliver the throne to who she thought was the rightful king at the time. Now, um, they were engaged in the Hundred Years War. This war had been going on for so long, and there was this one particular city called Orleans, and they had been under siege for seven years. And when um, she went to battle against the city, she freed him in one day. And she had many more successful um, military battles like that. Um, she was eventually captured by the enemy, and they turned her over to the English, who tried her as a heretic. Now, a heretic is um, someone who goes against the popular belief beliefs at the time. And she um, had been saying that she heard these heavenly voices. And there was a way that these people could tell. Well, first of all, they wanted her to de deny that she'd heard the voices and she would not because she knew that. She said she would not um, um, didn't, she would not sacrifice her soul to save her body. And she just was really firm in her commitment to what had happened. She knew it was to be true and there's nothing you could do to tell her otherwise. Well, so what they started to do was try to get her on a technicality. So she didn't know this at the time because she was young and poor and uneducated, but the people that were trying her did know this, that there was a way that you could tell whether your voices came from God or from Satan. And um, that uh, if, you, if, if your heavenly visitors or these voices or these people that were talking to you took the form of a man, like I'm talking to you right now, now or like you would be talking to someone in the same room as you um, then that meant that those were from the devil and if you heard your voices and they were floating in the sky or they were voices that came from above then that meant that those voices were from God so they just made this arbitrary rule up and when they asked her during her trial what what form her voices took she told them they took the same form as the person i talked to them and they talked to me just as i'm talking to you and this is what got her this is what got her convicted um uh they burned her at the stake and 25 years later they re-examined the trial because there is an actual transcript that still exists today. In fact, you can read translations of it online, but it's a transcript of the whole trial. How cool is that, that you, that, that still it has been preserved and you can read um, all the things that she said in her defense and all the things that they said to accuse her. But um, these 25 years later, she was actually declared a martyr and canonized as a saint, a, patr a patron saint of France. Now I have, so I have two of these coins which I made into those pendants. You can see it's about the size of the tip of my finger, but I also bought on eBay some stamps that have um, this artwork, this painting of her. And um, in this painting, I really like it because there's three little saints kind of floating above her shoulder. So there are these three um, saints that were talking to her and giving her directions and telling her what she was going to accomplish. And I'm gonna make that into a pendant too and I think I'm gonna hang them side by side. I mean, I really like the way this one looks by itself, but I just thought it would be cool to have something colorful. Uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out, but for now, that's what I've got, and I hope you learned something interesting.